Hello everyone and welcome back to another video brought to you by SeniorCatWellness.com. If you enjoyed today's presentation and find it informative, please feel free to subscribe to this channel, like the video, and share the content. Today's video subject, is it safe for cats to eat cockroaches? Before we begin, let's first take a look at today's topic overview. While cockroaches contain protein and vitamin B12, they're unsanitary insects that harbor parasitic worms and bacteria that make cats sick. Their strong exoskeletons can cause oral irritation and gastrointestinal distress. If a cat eats a poisoned cockroach, it can become ill. Right out of the gate, let me just say that this video will not be filled with images and video footage of cockroaches. I'll spare all of us from that nastiness. We all know what a cockroach looks like, and we certainly don't need to see one or more for a handful of minutes without interruption. Now, with that said, let's get started. Insects, both fortunately and unfortunately, are a natural food source for felines, especially feral cats, making up roughly one-third of their diet. Cats, given the chance, will eat most anything they can find, especially if a soon-to-be meal can move. Those stalking and hunting instincts just kick right in, and we all know the rest. And cockroaches check all of the necessary boxes to entice a curious cat. Cats need a healthy and balanced diet that is rich in vitamins and minerals. Without this, they'll become weak, incredibly malnourished, and can then be exposed to a variety of health concerns. And believe it or not, cockroaches actually offer nutritional benefits. Cockroaches are high in protein and vitamin B12. And while you should never feed your cat cockroaches, please don't, just know that for the sake of information, cockroaches do have some positive qualities with respect to nutritional value. If you've been around the channel for a while, you likely know what I'm about to say. And this is often said when I'm talking about the critters. It's not what they are, it's where they've been. Cockroaches are not toxic, but that certainly doesn't mean they are safe. Let's start with poison. Cockroaches are always on the move, with people just like us racing right behind them with a can of Raid, or whatever products you like to use to kill them. Secondary poisoning is a major issue, and your cat could suffer. If your cat eats a dead cockroach that was poisoned or tracks down a live one that has been coated in poison, this can introduce illness. Vomiting, salivation or drooling, breathing difficulties, diarrhea, persistent twitching, skin inflammation, collapse, changes to urination and dehydration. If your cat displays any of these symptoms, especially after known contact or consumption, please take your pet to the vet as soon as possible. This is an emergency situation. Next, we have oral irritation. Cockroaches possess a protective exoskeleton. Cats can suffer from oral irritation during the chewing process. Gross, but it is what it is. And hey, gold coins for anyone who can make it through this entire video, I do salute you. It's not my favorite topic either. At any rate, when the exoskeleton breaks apart, it could damage your cat's mouth. Bleeding gums, excessive swallowing, and drooling. It's not fun. And that leads us to gastrointestinal distress. Some of these are about as predictable as the sun coming up, and as you probably guessed, there's a stomach ailment involved. Gastrointestinal distress is the next subsection of concern. The exoskeleton can cause oral irritation, and everything else that is involved with this entire process can usher in the rest of the woes. Almost seems like an episode of Fear Factor eating bugs for cash. Nausea, vomiting, diarrhea are all potential side effects. And the final concern that we'll address today parasites. Cockroaches have been found to carry up to 33 different types of bacteria and six parasites, many of which can promote disease. 
gastroenteritis, dysentery. Did you ever play the computer game Oregon Trail as a kid? Someone in the group would always fall victim to dysentery. Salmonella, E. coli, and poliomyelitis. Yes, cockroaches can carry the polio virus. When it comes to parasites, cockroaches are known to carry hookworm, toxocara, ascaracis, and many others. In short, worms can infect cats and dwell inside their intestines. Cockroaches discovered around toilets and in the kitchen area are more likely to carry worms. Diarrhea, weight loss, increased appetite, dull coat, lack of energy, a swollen belly, excessive cleaning of the area around the bottom, blood and feces, and abdominal pain. All of these symptoms are signs of a potential bacterial or a parasitic infection. Whew, it's over. I'm not sure about you, but I am so glad that's over. If you feel the need to take a shower after this grossness, well, we'll give you a free bath towel with a Senior Cat Wellness logo printed right on the front. The topics on this channel are wide ranging, if you haven't noticed by now, so we cover a lot of things and a lot of angles. The good, the bad, the ugly, the humorous, it's all right here. We are all about the wellness, and if we can play just a small role in helping to keep your cats away from cockroaches, then this video was well worth it. If you would like more information concerning today's subject matter, please click the initial link in the description box below and join us at SeniorCatWellness.com. And once again, feel free to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. If this type of content, well, maybe not this type of content, <laughs> you get my drift. If it is of interest to you, please check us out. Thank you, as always, for watching, and we will talk to you later.